Wednesday the 26th of June. Um, I think it's been fed and watered at the same time because it's liquid feed. We all had uh, one can between three plants. It took a bit longer, but they're done. And we're still on the nitrogen. Um, today I'm going to go through the nose Trisha. Um, as you can see, I've left. I've still got the growing tip in, and it's just got a little bud in there. Um, and there's plenty of wide la side laterals. Um, what I'm doing with these, but I've, unlike me, lost my nerve. Um, so I'm going to do one row uh, normally, which will probably be this row. And the other two rows, I shall do what I've started doing. And that is this. So the top's out and every side shoot has been removed from above ground so there is no side shoots this would look the same plant as that yesterday morning um, so I've done these ones this one it has already thrown a shoot from underground which is that one there so I've just cut the top out of it so hopefully I'll still get four or five shoots from these I'm just gonna do the rest and then I'll put the straw down which finishes that job at the same time um, other than that I shall probably um, some of these um, plants won't do them all maybe a third of the Mary's I'll do the second stop today just to guarantee some earlier buds that are seeming into the bank holiday and the rest of follow on. So I'll probably just do that row. As I said, the giants have been stopped. And you've probably seen that. And again, the larger plants of the um, Blight and Softer Gleam, which I've got at least three pairs on them breaks, um, will get done as well. Um, which is probably about a third of them for the rest of next week. Larger dines, this is a dark dine, parts like that. Happily, second stop. Some of the smaller ones, couldn't quite get an a, a even batch of them, all will be done next week. And same for the win on, which generally are all a better batch of plants. Mystery squash, I think. It looks like it might be, I'd say courgette, but I think it's more more marrow so I can establish that just out of interest I will then just pull it out of the ground hopefully today um, I'll give all the kiwis a second stop which is just this bed there's plenty of brakes on there and there's good length in the brakes to do so if I get time I might run through the ponds if not that'll be a, a tomorrow or day after job and um, they've only had one stop most plants have got six good breaks, little buds are starting to come, so I'll give them a second stop, but it'll be fairly high up, so I'll probably get at least 24, 25 breaks from that second stop, and then those will probably bud before I want them, and I'll just adjust the numbers of flowers on the plants by how hard I knock those buds back down the stem. It's going to be about 27 degrees today, so... I want to crack on and enjoy it while it's not so silly hot. So this is the last plant in the row that I'm going to take the top out and just leave the smaller shoots. The other row there has been done, um, but that's stripping them down to the ground and hoping to push them out. And then that row will be done the same as the first row. So this does work, sort of. And it works as far as timing, but we'll see about the quality of the flower. So I tend to take the top out quite high because we don't want rot down, and then just remove the two little bits at the top. And the next job is to take all the big ones off at the bottom, like that. Now you can only really do this if your plants have been soft good and growing um, if your plants naturally grow more shoots towards the top of the plant then 
that's just a bare plant. You, you, you let it harden up, you let the base of the stem harden up, um, and it's not wanting to grow. So if you can't do this, you need to grow your, your early plant better. Not let it get too hard in a pot and keep it soft. There's also is still two pairs of leaves under the ground, although I may have removed any resulting shoots there, but I'm sure there's still some more under there. And I tend to take any old leaves off down the bottom while I'm there. So we just get rid of those and then we have a count. So we've got two, four, six, eight, at least eight shoots there. So I'm gonna still take this one off. Take that one off, the leaf comes with it. Count again, because we can always count it wrong. One, two, three, four, five. I only want five of the stuff up, so I'm going to take that off. And it leaves about six shoots to come, but as you can see, they're not big shoots, they're just sitting in the leaf axle. Albeit, it goes against every grain in my body that says the stronger shoots come from the base. Therefore, they're the ones you want to flower. If I did that, I'd be knocking them back. I could still end up knocking these back, but that's just a, a risk. But at least I know at least this lot should be there for the, the sort of bank holiday shows going on to the Abercorn show. I don't know, because I've not done it before on the strip down and get them out the ground, what that sort of time delay is. So I'm playing it safe. It's not the first time ever, but I'm playing it safe. So that's that done. All the Trisha. I'll do the uh, Mary's probably in the morning. I know the giants are done. Did half the dark dines, there's two beds. I'll probably do the win on all next week. Because um, I don't really need both lots for the uh, early shows. All the kiwi are done, so it should be okay, I hope. And I've just gone through and picked out the more forward plants of softer gleams and done those. So just mirrors in the morning and probably go through the palms. Thursday the 27th. Started, had a bit of spare time this morning, so. So putting in the uh, extra canes to complete the beds. Got the mulch down around the narrow Trisha. Let's tidy that up. And managed to just go through and I've done about a third of the skims job. Our chain have been double stopped, if I can say it. And all the palms have been given their second stop and those will probably start budding before I need to but all good all fed um, hopefully the weather's just taking a little edge down on temperature a little bit it was about 28 degrees yesterday so it's quite hot and the plants will move on through July hopefully strongly morning double stopping we've seen this plant before this is Mary's Germander and it's one that we're going to double stop and we're doing this to encourage more breaks this isn't just timing it's about getting 14 16 flowering shoots from this plant this is the one you saw before probably about four weeks ago um, it was stopped and we've got a result in six and a bit shoots as intended so we're not trying to butcher it down we're just going to cut fairly high I know that there's at least two pairs being left on each one of these stems it's a bit deceiving because the straw is uh, covering the lower part that one I'm gonna go lower which should still leave two I don't really want to leave shoots like that on a double stop because they're probably already six or seven days in front and sometimes you have to remove or push the leaves around to make sure you get somewhere near the joint that one 
Two inches better than one. That one. We are removing this sort of growth. There'll be a pad in the centre there. And then down there. Now the basis that this was stopped four weeks ago for the first time. And most of these shoots have started to produce flower buds in the centre. Cutting this down now, which is the 2nd of July, should mean that those shoots have buds in, in a month's time, which will be about 2nd of August, um, which would be perfect uh, for securing for the early bank holiday shows. So we should get at least 24 plus shoots out of that plant and they should be producing buds at the time we want them. That bed has now been done. Now we're double stopping for timing. This is blight and softer gleam because we want to grow seven or eight, normally eight growing shoots on this. It's been stopped once, again about three to four weeks ago, and we've got six flowering shoots. So we're going deeper into the plant because we're not trying to produce as many as we would on a miniature. We don't want 24, we want probably a dozen of it. So we go quite a lot deeper and quite a lot lower down into the plant, leaving just the one pair of leaves. You have to be quite brave doing this. Two more to go. And sometimes the foliage just get in the way, but they soon get through it. And sometimes I do just pick out some of these that are going straight across the what will be the growing shoots. And that one, you can see there's a pair of leaves there. So we're okay. Again, just cut the knife has been sterilized by this purpose as it only ever does. I'm quite happy with the health and the, of the plants and I'm not transferring anything because there's nothing there to transfer. Now that might look a little bit brutal. Here's one that was done Wednesday, so that was now six days ago. And we can see the resulting shoots. I tend to do mine for the, the timing purposes in two batches. So you can see some that have done and some that will be done. Same there. Done. Has been done. Good luck. Enjoy. Wednesday the uh, 3rd of July. And it's a cool morning and a bit of dampness in the air. A few scatterings of showers, but nothing much more. Um, but the plants are really shifting now, or settling. These are kiwi, and they were stopped a week today, or chopped. And we're getting some reasonable growth, just starting to get away from them, um, which is good. Obviously the dark dianes, I did half of these last week, which we can see here and then this bed and the old ones in there have got to be done. The Winholm are a better batch of plants, um, albeit a smaller batch, um, and they're going to be chopped today and I'll do them in one go so hopefully I'll have some of the dark dying for the early shows and these will start coming into play and then come national time then I'll be in full built hopefully on both um, and see some of the giants where these were stopped um, also last week but a bit earlier um, starting to throw out some side laterals and there'll be a mixture of some with plenty like these these are some fairly big plants um, where we've got them just really coming off the stem and others where there's more shoots and I'm happy with that I don't really want there's 50 plants here um, or just over and I don't really want them all trying to flower at the same time I'd rather have a, a spread and as you can see some further ones up there it's more growth and others less so that's going to plan so far generally quite pleased with the plants this year um, good bushes planted nice and even um, and they're, they're settling in okay. Um, obviously, part row mirror, as we know, and the uh, uh, Nourish Trisha 
Wish, I wish the pigeons had stopped messing about with my straw and trying to bury them. Which is a daily job, just checking nothing's been moved too much. Um, and this is the row that I lost my nerve on and, and just took the tops out. And the side shoots are, are fairly well away now. And I expect those will be on par for the earlier shows and the ones that I've done a, a full chop are starting to show a little bit of growth down the bottom there um, and they should follow along behind I hope just not too far behind um, it'll be interesting to see the difference in, in flower size and structure um, they got done that's the Sandia Gold um, they were done yesterday as were the rest of the Marys and the rest of the Bright and Softer Gleam on who I've seen probably I put the clips on me doing that on just before this um, but last week and yesterday um, and the Skimsdale Jane is yet to be finished Poms were stopped last week we know um, and they're already well away as they tend to be. So, feeding today, finished the chop backs. Um, I can't really see any point leaving them much later than um, this, this week. I've got no intention of showing beyond about Surrey, which is the weekend after the National. Um, with limited numbers of plants, I think. A, a, two weekend five show window is, is more than enough um, and we'll be just getting the feed on this morning another nitrogen feed which will be feed number six um, get the rest chopped down and then carry on putting these extra canes in you can see with the extra canes the tent are still put the outside ones in fairly vertical on that plane spread out on that plane and that just gives me that same shape filling all of the two foot by two foot space within but by keeping them vertical on that way it maintains the path widths a bit easier because once you get foliage out there foliage out there and I'm walking up and down with watering cans um, I'm not likely to be clattering the blooms of the plants so easily and it just maintains the plant going pushing into the middle and same there um, I've never had a plant blow over or uh, any real damage from wind to plants that are tied up just flower, flowers clattering into each other right see you at the end that's me done for the day um, what's it? 20 to 3 should make it to the pub by 3 o'clock um, managed to give them all a feed or a heavy water as we call it but uh, they all had a feed um, nitrogen probably the last one um, all been chopped so they're all now had their second stops so the plot sort of shrunk I've just about had the time to uh, get the rest of the canes out now so all plants I've got three canes in the ground ready for the first tie, which probably won't be for another two to three weeks, I reckon. So they're all done. A little bit of drizzling in the air, but not enough to make much difference. And the plot's all tidy, ready to go for me, just ticking over with jobs until next Wednesday, where I'm sure I'll find something else to do. See you next time.